Hi, you guys. Ginger Cook here. I want to welcome you to our Monday afternoon, evening, 5.30 Central Time here in Texas, uh, acrylic painting uh, show. We're, we're, uh, we're going to introduce you to a whole other idea of painting something. Um, every week we try to do something a little different. This week we're going to kind of surprise you again. Excited to tell you about that. It's going to be a terrific show. We're going to be drawing for our uh, last week's entries into our comment. Um, uh, if you, you know, for the entries and giveaways for that, we'll have another one today. Got some exciting stuff to tell you. And I hope you got your paintbrushes ready or at least ready to take some notes. And uh, uh, we're going to take you to Tuscany again because everybody has to go there. Not, you know, it's. Everybody wants to go to Tuscany, so let's just go there and paint a little bit. What do you say, you guys? So, John, if you want to scoot on down to my um, table. I'll be scooting. I've got a, a 9 by 12 canvas, and it's a little bigger than I normally do, but because of the, the image that I found, which is a some really pretty uh, hanging flowers and um, shutters, it's a pretty simple painting. You could easily sketch this on pretty easy, or... We can, in our case, we're just going to just uh, trace on the windows and make it real simple and fast. I'm going to try and just speed this up a little bit. We will have the traceables for you. Um, Typically by tomorrow. Uh, you know, by tomorrow. And where you find those is the same same uh, place that uh, you found the ones for the birds. You've got to, it's uh, acrylicpaintingwithgingercook.com. And that's where you're going to find the traceables. Here, let me just make sure that they're working. Yeah, it's working. See, see, what, I, see what I wrote on it there? John for? wrote this side up for me. You, could, <laughs> you should do that. That's a good idea, isn't it? You know, cause sometimes, I even put it on both ends in case you didn't know which side you were on. Yeah, I think it's great. He put it on both ends. And don't you love him for that, you guys, huh? <laughs> and now here's, a, here's something you got to remember. Whenever you're tracing on any kind of buildings, you've got to make sure that your image that you're tracing on is... Um, your your, uh, your it, transfer it, paper is moving there, sweetie. It's a uh, oh yeah. Look at I didn't get a big enough tape there. Here. Well, you need to you know you need I'm to. I'm just going to tape it, it to the actual board. Yeah. Now these these canvas boards are actually masonite. They're a little different than the normal these protone canvas boards. They're masonite covered with uh, several uh, coats of media and the and the. Um, they have a whole process. They have a whole process. They make these. They're not they're not inexpensive, but they're very nice to use. And when you're trying. To do detail, they're kind of nifty too. Now our photo really kind of ended here, so we had to make it a little bit bigger. All right, so to fit a nine by twelve canvas, you guys, this you does guys. not work on an eight by ten. You have to make up a lot more space. You'd have to make up so much more space it would be bizarre. So if you're thinking, oh, I'll just paint this eight by ten, don't do it. What <laughs> else could they do besides nine by twelve, John? Uh, they could go down to six by eight, which would be kind of silly to do. Nine by twelve, you have a twelve by sixteen, eighteen by twenty-four. Any of the proportions. But they people don't know that, so just give them some numbers. People don't know from proportions. I just gave them numbers. Yeah, but say them again slowly. Twelve by sixteen. Okay. Now see how this. Eighteen by twenty-four. Eighteen by twenty-four. Thirty-six by forty-eight for. Eric. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's that's how you do that. All right. So again, you don't want to do these eight by ten. You can do them six by eight if you want. Be a little more challenging. We did it bigger uh, this time, and um, and I want to have take my um, uh, nice straight edge here, and I'm going to just go ahead and put in the. Um, put in our windows now you see if we go follow this all the way up the top of this window was, is off the camera there's no angle on this because it's way up here all right and then on the bottom um that we've got the, the perspective going this way all right on the bottom here so we're going to go ahead and just um this one this this door is slightly open so it's a little different. This this when this door is slightly open. In fact, if you'll notice the opening, it's almost a triangle. You see that? Now, as I'm drawing this on, you can see what I'm doing. I want to give a shout out first off to John Little, 
Um, we've had a request in the past for um, to, to see more of my palette mixing, which, and people said, oh, I don't know why we need to see John. And then, boy, all of you wrote, most of you wrote and said, we want John back. Don't do that. And if you really want care about the uh, seeing the palette, when you do our uh, lessons that we do um, in our academy of fine art and acrylic painting, it's just me and my palette, and John zooms in on it all the time. So when you, you know, but for, for, for the fun of the show, uh, this is pretty basic, straightforward, one-on-one color mixing, you guys. And um, nothing fancy there's here. nothing fancy here, all right? So keep that in mind. There's just absolutely nothing too fancy about that. And um, I want to just turn this over here up from the bottom. If I level this square on the bottom, even the place where I don't have the image, I'll have it. You see that? So then I'll just come up here like this and um, do that and um, do this up here. Move my tape. Okay. Make sure we have the bottom of this. All right. So here's the bottom of this. Now let's see how did that draw on there. Did it draw on? Oh, good thing I had it the right way. Yeah, so then it's going to go all the way off because the doors are going to go off here. But I'm going to use this side as my... Um, Maybe where my the doors kind of meet here. I would call them shutters myself. Well, they're shutters, shutters, shutters. 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 Shutter shutters. They're shutters. They're shutters. No, no question about it. Now look, the this line goes up here like this. This is our roof line. Okay. And it's going up here like this. And we're just going to say that we're, we're going to keep this very, very simple. So I think that no one's going to have any trouble doing this. Your biggest thing is going to be making sure that you have your line straight. And um, um, if you're using a ruler, I don't think you're going to have any trouble with that either. I'm going to just come up from the bottom here and make sure that these are straight. Did you Let's do the go one going this. across that guy in the middle there? I don't think you did. Did I do one here? No, down the down at the bottom, the one you were just doing. I don't think he has the middle. That we have the bottom one. No, I, I. Oh, the very bottom underneath him. Yes. Okay. Yeah. There's a little line underneath him too. That's really the, the seal or the sill. Sill. Kind of a, like a window sill. Yeah. 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 A little window sill. Okay. So yeah, we're we're doing that. So, I don't feel. I mean, if you feel like you need to. You can see where you'd have to angle these for the, these shutters up here, like this, for the um, the hinges. For the hinges, you wouldn't see them up there, but you'll see them. You're going to see them here and here, and then the same thing. This is going down. This this is a little bit different here. There, this door is open, so you can't really do them like that because well, this door is open. No. Yeah, you can't use the perspective. You can't on use that the one. perspective on it because it, this is open. All right, yeah, so yeah. that's really all there is to it. Um, oh, so we're done. Well, so as far as that show. goes, and so who's our moderators out there today, John? Who's our moderator? We have Lady Luann and Hi, Steffi. Luanne. Hi, Steffi. And Judy was running around. Hey, Judy. I don't know if I saw Liz. I don't think I saw Liz. Well, if Liz, you know, uh, if Liz is here later, we're going to shout out to her now. She's off. You know, people have lives. You guys, these moderators are all doing this just because they love us and you. And well... They, Okay, they love you John. Know, you're assuming, <laughs> and and they do it, and they love the chat and everything, and but they have lives too, so we don't always have every, you know. There's, you know, they just it's a volunteer thing, and we appreciate it very much. And uh, a lot of the questions that you have, you'll find them answering, and they also kind of keep the trolls out of the chat. Um, when the riffraff, the, as it were, they keep they keep that out away, and. Um, so let me just put the, these sheets away over here, and I'm going to just move all this. And look at that. We have our... We're well on our way. We're well on our way. Yes and yes. I'd take the tape off that top one if you don't mind. Yeah, I can take that off. That's a little disturbing, isn't it? It is to me. Okay, so you can see that that's pretty much all there is to it here. Now, uh, what I want to do now is uh, uh, just take a moment and put some color in. 
Now what we've done on this, this particular board came this color. We have no underpainting on it. No, just, just We gave it a light sanding because it's fairly rough stuff yeah. to save our brushes, a light sanding. And, and I like the color it was and I didn't think we needed to do anything with it. No. So my guess is that the queen will give it a kind of a blocking in. What we want to do now is that we can take some white paint. We, we're using a Stay Wet palette. So this is just some, let's just talk about our colors for a minute. This is titanium white. This is cad yellow medium, yellow oxide, magenta, a luminous rose from Holbein, a cadmium orange, dazzling purple, mauve, thalo blue, thalo green, and ultramarine blue. Those are our colors. And what we want is a little bit, and we're going to also have like um, like a Payne's gray. And that's how we're going to age our stuff. We're going to do Payne's gray here. So I'm going to put that out here too somewhere. Here, how about right there? So what we want to do is we want sort of a um, a gray green Ooh, color. Moderator Lynn made it today. She was having internet issues. So our Canadian representative is back among us. Hi. Hi, hi, Lynn. So this is not going to be in it. I've got to get this lighter than I have it. So I'm going to put some more white in here. It's like 99% white, okay? And there's these other colors. And this is my background colors. This is my background wall color. And and it, uh, let's take a little tiny bit of yellow oxide with that. Get a little bit of that right there. Come here, you. We're using the uh, Holbein Heavy Body and Golden Heavy Body paints. Yeah. It's all their professional grade. That's all. Okay, so this is our our wall color. Good color. And I like this right here. This is dark enough where it would be make a pretty good shadow color if I darkened it just a hair. It could make a pretty good shadow color. And if I want wanted something a little lighter, maybe warm it up a bit. I might, um, it's still going to be kind of green, but I'll take a little bit more yellow oxide and um, just mix these two together. And now I've got this sort of, it's not really yellow, but it's going to put a little of this green color. I want it to be a little bit lighter. Okay, so this is sort of this off, kind of an off white, yeah? Let's get some more white in there. Not, not enough white. All right, there you go. I don't want to mix. I could, it can be a little bit different. So those are my two colors. And let's see, you put the brushes back and you put them somewhere. I put them in your tray that's on the left of you on the in front of you. Huh. When did the big one went? That's, that's all you used the last time we were playing. Well, that may be so. There's some... Oh, here it is. It's kind of hiding. All right. So first off, we're going to... We're going to just uh, take some of this color here, and we're just going to paint it uh, very hey, carefully. we'd like to thank Eric for the donation. Came in through Super Chat. Love all the blues in this painting. <laughs> you haven't seen anything yet there, Bucky. Wait till you see it. <laughs> you know, anybody can take a photograph like this and just paint the photograph. But what if you didn't want to paint just the photograph? <gasps> what if, dear friends, you said, you know what, that's okay. But what can I do? I'm going to take a little bit of white and a little bit of this kind of gray color. Come over here at the bottom. I want this a little bit differently. I don't want them all the same. What if you could, for instance, just, just saying, what if you could change the whole color scheme of this painting and have something really pretty awesome? What do you think about that? You're well, going to go Derek saying this is this was already pretty good, Ginger. Um but um, anyway, we want to thank everybody that's been uh, uh, contributing to our show every Monday and that we paint. And, you know, we've had a lot of you guys that have been so supportive, and we thank you very much. And sometimes it's, you know, just a dollar or two in Super Chat. But, you know, if a lot of people do, that makes a big difference. You know that, right? And then sometimes it's a, um, uh, it might be a little more than that. And... We appreciate it so much that we've got it. We've had a for the for quarterly. We started a new thing that we we keep track of this stuff, like kind of like Santa Claus. We keep track of that, right? Who's and been naughty and nice. Yeah, we keep track. And for those people that over a three month period have either gone through our our website or have done it in super chat, 
have done at least $100. For every $100, they have an entry into a drawing to win an original Ginger Cook uh, 8x10 painting. And um, uh, and they they'll, they'll be actually three winners chosen. And the first person chosen gets their pick, and then they can the other, and so forth. Those are three different paintings. And um, we thought that might be kind of fun. Yeah. And we'll show you those paintings a little bit later. And we'll show you those paintings a little bit later that they're, that they're, they're winning. Now, now, this board, I've got to tell you, soak this painting, paint up pretty, pretty fast, right? But it that's okay. Yet. It's not sealed yet. That's all right. I want to have some, I want to indicate I've got some shadows coming down here. So while this is still kind of wet, I'm going to just create a little bit of a shadow on these, this board, maybe coming down and maybe even adding a little bit more Payne's gray to those shadows like that. Now we had somebody ask if we're using the larger Stay Wet palette. It's, I know they make one bigger than this one. This is the 9 by 12 one. Cinnamon it's gave this to us. It's not the smallest one. It's not the biggest. Cinnamon gave it to us, and we we love it. She said, Mom, you're going to love it. And I'm going, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't try it. You know how moms are. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I'll love it. Perfect, you know. And uh, and yet, and yet here we are uh, loving it, you know. Now, that and, particular uh, palette paper that's in there has been used twice before. Yeah, we just use it again. You can kind of, you know, wash it and use it. Yeah, they say you can wash it and use it again. So we're kind of seeing what all we can do with it. Yeah, so I'm going to just... Here we go. Just gonna t t take a little bit of this, and here we've got a little bit of white here. Got, I'm just kind of layering on some paint, so it looks like a painting, and not like a, a like you're painting on paper, right? There's actually a little bit of paint on this. So um, and then I want a little bit of yellow. Wipe the brush off. I'm gonna take a little bit of yellow oxide and orange, that orange color, and maybe a little bit of. Paint gray, okay, and we want to come under here like that. Too much paint gray, a little bit more yellow oxide. Come under here where this is still wet, and I want to put a shadow coming down here, underneath these um, uh, sh shutters. Okay, so it's going to be generally speaking, it gets a little darker right underneath the shutter, and then it gets as it goes down into the rest of this, it gets. Um, it gets a little lighter. So you can always come back and kind of darken it up. A little bit of yellow oxide and Payne's gray will even put a little bit of orange in it there. That's pretty. I like that color. Hey, I'd like to thank Cheryl for the donation that came in through the Super Chat. Thank you very much, Miss Cheryl. Oh, Miss Cheryl, thank you. Thank you very much. And we guys, we appreciate that very much. And um, we had a good time last Friday. If you guys got to meet us a little bit there, going to put a little bit of. Uh, uh, purple in that, darken this up a little more now. See how I'm kind of layering this in here? Um, a little bit more here like this and pull this shadow down. So, um, gee, you wouldn't think that, um, that they'd be much, much to it, but that's all there is. And now we're going to take a little bit of ultramarine blue and 99% white. Remember that white ratio, right? And come up here and just take a little bit of that green and put in there. That's pretty. And I'm going to just say, here's our sky color. Slightly different than the color of our building. But we want to be able to see a little bit of sky through our vines. In our, um, so, so far, so good. You're going, well, okay. And then what? Well, um, this is still pretty tacky. We, we, it'll be dry well it, soon enough. It's going to be dry pretty much. I'm going to put some paint on a brush like this and um, just wipe it off and then do it again. Just some white paint and wipe it off and kind of drag it over here in a couple places. Just, uh, just we'll, we'll do a little more of this later, but we can do that. I'll just kind of soften this up a little bit. Most of the paint's gone. Here you go. Just soften that up. All right, there you go. So that, that's that's all we have to do. Now, what's next? Well, we want a phthalo green color and phthalo blue. And we'll come on up here and mix these colors together. Let's put a little yellow with that. Okay. A little more phthalo green. Okay, with me. 
Everybody's with me, right? Now I'm going to put a tiny bit of paint gray in there to tone that down. It's just not in your face bright. I want to come up here like this and uh, paint a coat on my shutters. Now, as we're doing this, for those of you who played with our and played in our bird hop, okay? Those of you who did that, which we thank you very much for those of you who participated in that. Let's get this a little darker down here toward the bottom. Um, the auction is still going on for the birds. We're going to show you that. It ends this Friday. And uh, and we've had a lot of vigorous, it's the first time Cinnamon's ever put anything up like my daughter Cinnamon Cooney has ever put anything up like that for auction. She's never done it. She's got quite a group of people that are interested in owning one of her original pieces. And um, But for those of you who got who, who wanted to own one, but, um, you know, just sort of got outbid at this point. You, you kind of want to, but just got a little bit more pricey than you than you felt comfortable with. What you can do is, I'm going to take, I'm taking a little bit of mauve and green here for this darker side, okay? Uh, what you can do is um, uh, own one of the a limited edition prints, and they're very, um, the print is, it's not like, you know, sometimes you'll say be like one of a hundred or one of a thousand or something. John's stopping the print, print run on the 20th. So that's however many not prints. Not me, are, John, the other John. John Little. Not, not me, John, John Little, John Cooney. <laughs> yes, I know you who you are. Yes. And um, so he's, he's starting that. He's stopping the print run. Okay. On, um, on the, on the 20th. And so it, if you haven't ordered, if you haven't got it in that, your last day to order, I think, is the 19th and, uh, to, to, to order a print. He says the 20th. He'll take it. He'll, he'll take orders up to the 20th? Yeah. All right. So here's what that means, okay, is that, um, uh, let's see, let's darken this a little bit too. What that means for you is that um, for, for, I think they're, they're really reasonable. You get their certificate, they're hand signed by either Cinnamon or if it's one of her paintings, they're hand signed. They're shipping the prints to me. They're making them there. They're shipping them. They're really quality paper and everything. It's really kind of amazing. And they're shipping the prints to me. And then we will sign it and sign the certificates. And so you guys sign. And there may be, if not a lot, if you don't know, but it could be one of the best deals ever. Because if it isn't a big run, that's a very valuable print. If there's only, if say, say if they're, what, what would you say, John? It, if, if not a lot are printed, how's that? Not a right. lot are printed. Now we're also gonna. We also have the prints uh, for the um, um, that you you were you were commenting for in the contest on on the bird hop for each each bird hop picture. There's a you know has its print that we will also be drawing for. We will be drawing for that on the. Uh, next monday's show cinema will be drawing for hers on the um on on saturday and we will be drawing for our, our bird prints uh the, for the winners there'll be three three of those so given that's away on the 16th we'll be doing three drawings so you got to make sure that you go to those videos look at the description to see how you enter because it's a, it's a comment again with a hashtag so you got to go look at the description get the rules understand how to do it and then you'll be off and running. Because we have noticed that some people have done it wrong. Yes. And we just, again, want to mention and again. And we certainly don't want to mention names on that. We're not mentioning names, and we're not going to tell you. It's not fair to everybody else that kind of read the, read the directions, yeah. right? Hey, Sheila, thank you very much for the donation that came in through Super Chat. Thanks, Ginger and John. You are amazing. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you very much. Oh, we had a few come in through the old PayPal system. We would like to thank Nivana for the donation, as well as Elizabeth. Thank you. And one more from Sandra. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, this angle brush I'm using, I'll have to go ahead and still tape these, but it does give me at least a, a, a semblance of... Um, uh, uh, Let's see, I'm going to, I have to lay some paint on here, you guys, you get that, right? 
I get that. I, I get that. So that's only some paint on here, and I know that I want uh, you know, this little purple up here and just do something like this to separate our sky up here like that from the uh, shutter. And I know that I'm going to have something dark in here, so I'm going to take a little Dosnine purple and uh, just so I don't lose my space in my shutter. I'm going to put that in there right now before I forget. Okay, so, so this will we'll do some other way, but I wanted to make sure I had that in here. And like that, there's some dark right there. Okay, bottom of our shutters. Okay, so. Okay. Another donation came in from Catherine on PayPal and one from Tint. Oh, thank you very much. You guys, that's you very nice. Up late. We appreciate it very much. And one more from Sandy. Thank you, thank you. And for those of you who are collecting the coffee cup cups. Coffee cup cups? Coffee, coffee cups. Cinnamon made coffee cups too. And we were having trouble finding those last time we looked. And, and, and she's been in touch with Teesprings to see why. They, she has coffee. She also made coffee cups, and, 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 um, which I think is kind of cool. I like the fact that every, you know, that you could get. You know, you could get coffee cup cups too of the of these designs. And they are offered in different colors, and I have upgraded, updated the images on the coffee cups to the actual paintings that were done during the show. Yeah. So yeah, we've got that. We've got the coffee mugs, and um, so now at this point, when you're looking and saying, well, "What else can you do here?" When you're painting something like this, how much of this more can you keep going? Can't do a lot more. Can maybe do another little bit of dark right here underneath. And here under here, make sure I come down like that. I can do a little bit of my sh shadow color if I add a little bit more Payne's Gray to it. I want a little bit, a little bit more of my shadow color coming down here from my, you know, that's going to be from my plants. We did have somebody ask if the um, Stay Wet palettes are in our Amazon store, and yes, they are. The trick is you've got to tell them how you do fix. John fixes. Well, you got to follow the directions. Well, I mean, it's more than that. I mean, let's honestly, they're a pain. I mean, if it wasn't for John, <laughs> would I fool with them? I don't know. I'm one of these people. I don't know about you guys, but I, I am not a sock folder. When I feel like painting, the mood hits me. You know, it's like when I want ice cream, I want it now. I don't care if it's for breakfast. And if I want to paint, true. I want to paint now. And I don't have 15 minutes to be boiling water and soaking uh, paint things. So that the, the stay wet palette works good. I just don't feel like doing that. But John, for apparently, is not perturbed by this sort of thing, which is amazing. Come on, you guys, that's amazing, isn't it? I don't think so. Uh, he he doesn't see that. He doesn't see that as a it's an issue. And I'm going. Surely you can see that as a, it's an issue. Can no, you, I don't think it is. I okay, think now we're going to put some holes I think in it's our wonderful. We're putting some holes in our shadows. Rather, it's easier to come back with a few little whites and break them up here. Well, this is going to really make sense when it's all done. I'm going to clue you guys in. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to put holes in. I want some of this green right here, too. I want a little bit of this green shadow right here on the wall. That's kind of pretty, too, isn't it? Oh, yes and yes. And a little bit maybe this color coming up here from the bottom. I'm excited. It's going to look so cute. Okay, so... Um, for the best results, you ever get that? For the best results, we recommend drying. So I want to just take a minute for those of you who missed the bird hop, and I'll move our little picture out of the way. I will try to hair dry on it in a minute, but we'll just see this. These were our finals for the bird hop, and see how they're painted on the edges, right? All the way around. Did you ever find me any of those little tiny uh, canvases smaller than this? Did you say we had some? No. See, you reminded me, I think, when we were swimming, which makes it very hard for me to check what's in the studio. Ah, uh, well, I just, I just, <laughs> and I you think expect of it me when to I remember. think of it. I see. I think of it when I think of it, you know. So Kinda anyway, like when you this want ice cream, you want ice cream. Yeah, when I want it, and then, uh, oh, aren't these cute? I love that guy. Look, look at the hairdo on that dude. The little rainbow birds and everything. So these are the these are the originals, and and you can see that you can just um. Uh, you know they make a really cute set, so uh, and they're they're adorable. You can kind of see. So those are in the auction right now. The auction closes uh, Friday. This Friday. Friday at seven thirty they start closing. Yeah, but then guess what happens on Friday? 
No, what happens on what, Friday? What more is happening on Friday? What could possibly... We're doing the marathon. What marathon? We are doing the pain of marathon thing where we started. The pain a thon A pain a thon We're starting it. We're doing a pain a thon What time are we starting? 3.30, right? Yes. 3.30 3 Central Time. <laughs> and I'm going to be doing as many paintings as I can, just like until we did last drops. time. Until I drop. And it may go up to 1 or 2 in the morning. We'll take breaks. Um, we'll take breaks and all that stuff, right? We're, we're sh we always shoot for a dozen. I try to get a baker's dozen. And speaking of, of paintings, um, wh why don't we just take a minute and draw for last week's uh, image? Oh, I don't have anything to do over here to do to get set up for something like that. All you right, know? Well, we gonna... just have to just just jump and do it. I, I got you, boss. No, I want to just show last week on uh, last oh. Monday we painted this. Our little we thought this was a wonderful. Um, uh, terrific video on perspective and we showed you how to we took kind of an ordinary um photograph and turned it into this house right and uh with the garden and everything and so those of you who made comments on this and i think the hashtag on that one was perspective those of you that entered and, and into that and we had a lot of you too so we had over f a lot of comments and we had john will tell you how many yeah, I will. Too. Because I comment too, so you can't count mine. If it's like five hundred, some of them are mine. Does that make sense? Yeah. So we don't. Even if my name comes up, it doesn't count. We would just draw again. So we're going to do the what we call the random picker, and while John's looking to figure out that, let me show you the paintings that we are going to be uh, giving away to our our um, uh, viewers who have been donating. Uh, at least uh, uh, for the last three months, the drawing for these will be at the end of August. It'll Someone be will be winning. The first show in September that we do live. Yeah, so like the first live show in September will be drawing for those, and you, you'll have as many uh, entries as there were hundred dollar donations. So if you did a hundred dollars, or maybe you did ten dollars every once in a while over three months, and you got to a hundred dollars, or but for every you know, every hundred dollars, that's a draw. That's a drawing. <laughs> and does it make sense? Did I, did, did I say that right? No? For every $100 donated during the time period, you have an entry in the drawing. That's what I said. Is that, I'd say that. Well, sort of? Not really? Kind of. All right. So the first <laughs> person that wordy. draws, and then we've got this neat, I love this one. This was uh, the, the, the one of the gal traveling. We've got that one. And then we have these apple blossoms. I like so that these one. are the three original paintings that are. Um, Will uh, someone will 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 be mailing these out to somebody? Yay! Awesome, yes yes. right? Absolutely. We're gonna mail these out to somebody. So hopefully. all right, now do you want me to do the picker? John's gonna do the picker, and what are we picking for? Yeah, what are we picking for before I go picking? You, we're gonna pick for a downloadable lesson. This is uh, at, at uh, acrylicpaintingwithgingercook.com. We have a whole. We have not only the membership where you, you know, every month you can app access to over 500 lessons and we add new ones every week or, or, or you could just maybe just, I just want to own this lesson like you buy a book. Difference between going to the library and checking one out or owning it. And so this particular uh, uh, painting we have originally done by um, Martin Head, who is an Amer Floridian American artist. I don't, this is not available anywhere in the academy this is only in our downloadable store and um as a downloadable lesson so someone's going to could win that right you've got an option of winning that or the other martin head which is of the magnolias um on the blue velvet which is uh, in one of our video lesson library um lessons and is also um we've got some gorgeous paintings uh tutorials step by step and again, Martin Head on this, and these are um, so you you could you have your choice of which one of these you would like to have um, as a downloadable lesson, okay? And you just now here's the deal, you guys. What's it, we yeah. don't have any way of contacting you, so you gotta watch our show to see if you won, yeah. And, and then our, contact us. And, and contact us. Okay? I gotta say, it's worked very well. The people that have won so far, uh, we're excited to win. Basically, even before the show's over, I won. I won. <laughs> and we, you have ten days to contact us. Okay. Yeah. And so uh, I, th I thought these were so. T I thought these were terrific. I love the fact that you know, even if you were an Academy member, you wouldn't have access to this one. I think that was really neat. This is a really uh, uh, terrific uh, video. 
and um, and so is the Martin Head. I love Martin Head. I've actually saw one of his, one of his originals in a museum and felt pretty good about it. So who's who are who's who's winning? Oh, now, now, it's, now, now the floor is mine. Yeah. Now we're gonna now we're gonna draw for the downloadable lesson for either one either one of these ginger. The Cherokee okay, roses, the Cherokee roses on the gold velvet, or the um, or the uh, magnolias on the blue velvet. We have no sound. Did you turn me back on or off? Wait a minute. How does YouTube comment picker work? Well, it goes out and reads them. No sound and only noise picker on the screen. Then, okay, let's go back to that screen for a second. Can you hear us now? Okay, sound is on now. So let me go back to that other one. Where's the picker? Oh. What did you forget? It's using a different sound uh, sound over there. Sorry about that. Okay. Now the sound should be working on it, right? Yeah, okay. Sorry about that. Well, while I've got you here, let's take a moment. This is our auction site where the bird hop is, gingercookauction.com. You just can pop over there, and I just thought, why well, I'm here, I'll show them to you. And here are the six originals, and if you click on this one, it'll take you over to the, uh, the Art Sherpa store where you can get the prints. But you just click on one of these, if you're interested in it, tell us how much time is left and the actual painting. Um, when it gets down to the last 90 minutes and somebody makes a bid, it will add 12 minutes to the ending time to give that person a chance, whoever, if they got outbid, to come back in and make a counter bid. So every time a bid is made after 90 minutes or remaining, it will add 12 minutes to the ending of it. Just want to clarify that for those that may ask. Thank you about the sound. We will look into that for the next show. But I think everybody understood. Because who, who won, John? Did you have that? Am I back on? Yeah, you're on. Let me No, Yeah, well, here, let's just go back to you. All right. Well, they I, they, they saw the, the winners. They saw the name, so we're fine. You just couldn't hear us during well, the Well, why don't you tell the name now? 
Do you have the name? Well, I don't. Uh, we'll, we'll put, uh, Patricia, Patricia Craig and Linda Lindstrom. So they all saw it. Everybody saw it. And everybody congratulated. Okay. All right. So this is just have a little. Have to fine tune that. Okay. Okay. So that's anything, anything else? That's good, right? All right. I'm going to do a Posca pen right now while John's doing this. Well, I'm doing what? Well, whatever you're doing. Oh. Right? I'm going to come back in here and do a Posca pen for my. Um, you know, because we had to extend the shutter here. Posca pens are acrylic ink and a pen. And it's just a, basically a fine brush. They're just, yeah, it's like using a fine brush. And so if you need a little bit of... Um, so if people say you're cheating. There's no such cheating. You're hike. not cheating when you cook with a microwave either. No. So I don't really care what people say. That's just really... I don't think it's material. cheating when you use an oven. No, no. I don't cook over fire anymore. So, um, boy, in fact, one time Cinnamon and I were in France and we were painting. We had paint, gone, gone there to paint. And um, what was what was interesting to me about it was that, um, let's see, that didn't quite get crooked. That got a little crooked on me. There. Was that uh, we went to this one restaurant and they had a, uh, they had taken a, kind of a cast iron skillet and they coated it with about uh, four inches the bottom with four inches of salt put a fishy on top and then then buried him in another four inches of salt and put it over a fireplace and cooked yep. it yep and, and this i've never seen anything like it. it did not taste like it did not taste uh, salty either which is kind of amazing really when you think about it all right out comes the artist tape okay, we, we want have some, to turn this off now out come the artist tape remember when you're doing it you always pull right so we're going to do that like this. We're going to say out comes the artist tape. I'm going to make sure we have straight lines like so. This takes a minute to tape, and it's just so much easier than going back over and fixing stuff. We've got most of this on here now, so we're we're in good shape. Um, uh, let's see. Let's do this other one. Try to do a little bit longer than what you need. Then again, you pull at both ends. Start there, and then... Pull it down. There you go. Then take a little palette knife or something. This is called burnishing, where you kind of flatten out the tape so nothing goes underneath it. And uh, uh, that that will save you some aggravation. How's that? If, if you are one of the winners, just use the contact us on, gin, uh, on acrylic painting with gingercook.com. That's acrylic painting with gingercook.com. And just say, I'm a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yep, that's what you want to say. Got to say that. Yep, okay. Oh, well, we had a few donations come in while I was busy goofing off. And we'd like to thank uh, Jacqueline for the donation. And she is in the running. By golly, thank you very much. Uh, Ginger John, I love what you do for everyone here. Is a little something to help. Thank oh, you, thank Art you Hug. Very, very much. And we'd like to thank Joan for her donation. I think she had made enough to get into the drawing. Larry, thank you very much for your donation. These are all coming in through PayPal. Sharon, thank you very much. Thank you for all you both do. And one more for right now. Linda, thank you. Thank you both for all that you do. Use the money for whatever is needed. Thank you. And that's not ice cream. John's been making the ice cream. Oh, okay, we're doing I, homemade I got ice that cream. Down pat, he, he's I got, got that the down recipe. Pat. Maybe he'll share his ice cream recipe with you guys. No way. No, sorry. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> Guess not. Too bad for you. I thought it would be good. Didn't you think it would be good? This could be a little it's bit. It's not that big of a deal. Ice cream's simple. I know, but, you know, he did. Uh, he, but I he, just fine-tuned it for my for the queen's taste buds. Yeah, well, he asked, what kind of ice cream do you like? Vanilla. What else? Vanilla. What else? Vanilla. I said, how about raspberry? No. Ooh. Well, he put fresh raspberries in it, which was really nice. Yes. And all right, so now we're going to start on our wood, right? So we've got this. Uh, Is that the shutters again? It's called the wood now? All these different names. Yeah, our, our wood shutters. <laughs> all right, so now I'm going to wipe off the extra. I want to just uh, take a little white here, take a little paint gray. 
Yeah, I've got this sort of gray, you know, shutter. I'm going to start dragging my brush over here like this. See, like, see how I'm doing that? Just no water on the brush. We're just, this is called dry brushing for a reason. Um, I'm going to start pulling in the, uh, we're going to start aging these puppies. Yeah. And you don't want them all the same color. So that's why you just, people say, well, how did she mix the color? Who cares? Mix your own color. Okay. But keep it very light and layer it. That's the trick, secret on this. I would keep it in a blue family. Well, you got to keep it in the blue green family. Absolutely. Because there's a reason why we've, we've picked this color palette for a reason. You guys, there is a bad and you'll reason. You'll see it for all why, come together. And not with the reason we did not go with the bright blue shutters is we felt we had a better solution than that. And um, I know I want my shutters a little bit darker at the bottoms. Do you use uh, real vanilla bean in your ice cream? No, I haven't gotten any yet. What, what's that? That's you, a, we real don't, vanilla bean. That's real expensive stuff. Yeah, we, I was still in the experimental stage. Well, we don't. You, we're not using the good stuff. No, it was, I'm we're not, using I'm the, not good worth stuff. the good we're, stuff. We're, no, oh. we we have the organic cream, the organic oh, milk, everything not else. Not worth the good stuff. Good. Don't okay. you worry. Uh, do you like them, Queen? Huh? Yeah, I like the okay. ice cream. I'm just asking. It's better just, than Bluebell, isn't it? Um, gosh, I don't want to get sued here, but I personally prefer <laughs> what you're making. Yes, <laughs> I was always a big fan of Bluebell up until now, but um, I nip that in the bud. Yeah. But it's very nice. You know, you just can't um, can't say enough nice things about John's ice cream. You see how I keep changing the colors a little bit here? Kind of layering it over this. I'm liking it. I'm and, liking uh, it already. Yeah, it's it's pretty. It just, people always say, I love your colors. But a lot of, so much of what we do is is layering. And um, It's all about layering. And... For instance, I know that for to wipe off the excess paint there, I want it just to be a little drier, you know, and I just I want a little bit lighter up on here, and and I can always come back to this too, and uh, maybe a little bit of the you see, can come back to it for a while. Purple and blue here, just 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 do. There we go. Becky says blue bill is hard to beat. John's must be really good. I know it's good. Great sell. John's is good. You got to give it, you know, I certainly got to give it to him. It's really good. Uh, all right. So I've got, I've got that. Now, while that is drying, we could take a smaller brush and a little bit of, uh, say, purple and blue. And I want to come along in here like this and, um, Make some branches. Like that, just a little purple blue color. Something kind of comes down here. We don't know where these vines are coming. It's coming down here like this. Okay, so we've got. We have some, I just figured as long as we were here, we would put those, we would put those in. Um, something a little darker here. Could have used black too, but I think we're okay. This will be one of our bigger ones. Because we have some flowers that are going on in here too, but this is sort of our base for our, our vines like that up there. And, um, and what I need here is some, um, I think this is pretty pretty dry. I need some of my dark lines, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna use the T square, which I put put somewhere, and I need some dark lines in my in a Posca pen, and I need some dark lines, and I may be able to yeah. We're just gonna use black. Uh, just keep it simple here, you guys. So we're gonna use black, and um, when you're doing a Posca pen, shake it up, keep the cap on, really shake it. And then kind of pump it a little bit. There you go. And then I want to just say, I know that this is my, um, I'm going to go, um, let's move this tape. I'm going to say this is my dark line here. Again, I'm going to kind of put that back, right? Normally we use the extra fine point. We have fine and extra fine. 
Do I have extra fine? I probably do, but I think I'm gonna. I yeah, want to make what you're doing today. That fine is what you need for today. Yeah, I just I want to I want to start start it up, kind of have an, an area where I'm starting them. So I'm gonna start it right here. You want to hold the T square. You want that. even on the top of your see what see what that's doing right you want that even even steven yeah you want that even and, what, what, and who is steven why does he care for even you know i don't know i just those are the questions that plague you at night i'm it so is. sorry john, john doesn't know who who adam is either when you're supposed to get up in the morning yeah up in adam and adam's he already gets, gone he gets, gets very confused about these things and it feels like it's he's being tricked. All right, so these will be a little bit narrower here. They get a little bit thinner to here. Okay, so I've got it still up at the top. Hopefully we're right. Remember, this will be slightly different because the board, the window's open. Okay, still even across the top. All right, now I've got. I think we're just going to do a couple. We'll just do the one in the middle here for sure. And I don't know if we'll even fool with the others. We'll see. It's always come back. This one doesn't have a lot going for it. So we can come back. We need to. The owl understands me. That's the question of the ages. Yeah. Who understands you? Al. It's a guy thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You women folk just assume everything is true, whatever said. All right, let's just do this here. All right. John, would Ginger be using Salvador again sometime? We'll probably use Salvador during the show, during the marathon. Yeah, we'll probably do it during the marathon. It depends on the paintings now, since we're, you know, we're kind of trying to go back to the stuff we normally use. This is a simple painting. We don't have a lot of colors we're using. But when we do the big marathons and things like that, where it's already pre-mixed, ready to go. It's a speed thing. All right, now so we please. still love our Salvador paint. Still got a bunch of it. It's just we need to go back to some of our own stuff. Okay. Now, this... Um, I wanted, looking good so far. So far, so good. Yes and yes. So now let's take up... I want to do this. It's going to be dark right here. Um... Hmm. Didn't cut myself a long enough piece. No, this here is a, here, here's an interesting comment. Yeah. The shutters are on a slant. Shouldn't the lines be on a slant? Your verticals will always be vertical. The horizontals are where your perspective is. We're not doing a three-point perspective. If it was really distorted, so we won't go into that. Thus, you have a... Um, Reference. The L reference says it's straight. But again, verticals are going to stay vertical. The other guys will taper. So here's some paints gray on this one. And I want this darker. And uh, going to just come in here like this and Make it widen that more. up a little bit. And then take some paints gray in this one. And uh, darken that up. I don't want stuff too dark. And um, there. Don't you love it? But, I mean, how could you not love tape, right? Tape is your friend. Tape, tape is your friend. And um, you tape your friend you, if you want straight lines. Somebody asked me one time about a painting I did years ago. And people said, was it hard to paint? I said, it had like hundreds of windows, and they all had to be taped. And I got to the point where I think about the order of taking off the tape. Now, this this one is not going to be as wide as um, uh, as that one. That one's going to be, a, this has got to be thinner. This little edge here has got to be thinner than that one, because if the things get smaller as they go farther away. So, let's see, is that even straight? No. How come the pasta pin doesn't smear when, with the T-square when you went over it? I'd give up. I don't know. Could have. Yeah, probably dried fast enough. Probably dried fast enough. Could have, though. Sure could have. It was, it was yeah. Russian roulette here doing that. 
You're absolutely right. It was. You should be going from right to left so you don't go over them until they're dry. Yeah, you should do that. And just, <laughs> just, just. But again, I mean, some, some of us would do it that way. Other of us, we, we, we like to play it. We like to gamble it. There you go. See, look at that. See how cool is that? Now they're sort of in three dimensions, staying off the wall. Yes, and yes. Yes, they are. So there they are, right? Now the other thing we can put in, and we can just. We can do that now. We'll just do that with a pencil. Is that we know that right up in here we've got a we've got a little. Let's see. Where's our? Let's get our reference so we have it exactly where it goes. Right. That's where you have references. This one is kind of looking this way at us, and this is kind of doing this. All right. With the with the um, with the shutter, and then you're not going to see. You're going to see one here going up this way. And then one this way. Don't ask me. It's where they have it. And then we've got a big one. It's going to still come about here. Got a big one that's doing this. And you won't see the one on the other side. If you saw, you'd barely. You'd, if you saw it, you'd. You, well, you might see it to here. Okay. So there's that. There's this shutter here. And it doesn't hurt to draw them in, right? Because uh, why not? Why not? You're there. You know, you can, you know, just then you can just make a little indication of where you think they are. It just is a little easier than coming back later with paint, maybe being wrong. So not, not that you're ever wrong, but you know, you could be wrong. No, and then, so let's take a little bit of blue and uh, just paint this one in a little bit of blue and paint gray. And we're going to say, there we go. There's this little, little, little guy right here. We'll say here's him, and then here's you. This little, well, they're they're the little um, hooky thingy things that make it open, the little hinges. So remember, this is a painting. We already have a photograph. We are just indicating this is what this is. Yes and yes. And you're not going to see this. I'm going to have a branch here, but. Um, I'll put it in anyway for those of you who are panicking and saying, but she didn't put in her, um, <laughs> her shutter thing, right? Oh, you know him too well. Hey, we'd like to say hello to Zach, who's joining us. I believe he is a relative of um, our moderator, Lynn. Oh, hi, Zach. He's nice a, of you to Our grandson, I do believe. The younger crowd. Thank you. So um, here's a little bit of light on top of the hinges if you're going to do it there's a little bit of light okay a little bit of light there like that got some light now all right so now what makes this picture is really going to be the flowers that we put make sense to you makes so how this me. picture is going to go is the flowers so um because i'm going to a good deal of this is going to be covered up but I'm going to take some uh, some black here, or the uh, paint's gray, and I want to um, I want to say I've got a I'm going to have a vine coming down this way like that. Never hurts to put them in. I've got going to have something coming down over the top of this a little bit, not too much, and then we've got we've got another vine kind of coming. This way, this way down, this way, coming here. So that, that that's what we that's that's where what we're about right now. So one of the things when you're putting in flowers is you can put in um, if you if you will put in your um, uh, your wood first, like for instance, on if you're doing a vine, put the Put the vine in. I've got a little bit of water on this brush, and I'll tell you one of the things I like about painting on a board is that it um, allows for um, very thin lines. Okay. It's very smooth. Yeah, They're very, it's very very smooth. So it's really hard to screw it up because you you can um, you've got and if you dry it in between really well then if you don't like something you can take your vine and uh, wipe it off 
And here we go. Let's just it's take this. It's in acrylic. You can fix it. It's acrylic. You can. There's, you, nothing's written in stone. Now, if you paint it on stone, would it be written in stone? Um, no, if you painted it on stone, it would not be written on stone. But if you carved it in stone, it would be written on. Like oh. the Ten Commandments. I think that's where that little term came from. I think you're right. It was written on stone, right? Yeah. And, you know, you know, and uh, I, I'm pretty sure, John, that's where that came from. And we'll do. We'll come back up here and do a couple of these now. Back up in here, not all of them, just a couple. With this little vines coming down here like that. And I want to have something coming off of here. I want to suggest that part of these vines are coming from the ceiling, the roof, wherever this is. Maybe coming down this way. This is kind of a fast version of how you can uh, uh, get something like this to work for you. It can be very effective. And, um, and it doesn't need a lot. You don't need a lot to make this work. Okay. Does that make sense? You just, um, this is your famous double zero, right? Yeah. This is the double zero brush that I got for myself, but got it confiscated immediately. So double zero, um, Bristolon. Bristolon. So and brush. Really, you can see what a nice light line I've got, right? Can't you? What does Ginger put between her paintings to keep them from sticking? I, 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 I don't put them on top of each other. They never face each other. They, they don't they, face they, each other. They're front to back, and they're standing up horizontally. They're not laying flat. And so there's nothing between them. Yeah. Okay. So there's our there's our shutters. And um, now um, I want to dry that for just a second. Um was there, there maybe, you know, one of the things about being an Academy member um, and, and, and being a red member, uh, having a red membership is that you not only have access to over 500 videos, which we, we keep adding to, the, it's phenomenal. We're going to have to start calling some soon. But, you know, but you I'm have personal art coaching. And John's going to show you some paintings done by some of our ooh, students ooh, while ooh. I'm drawing. That's a, that's a cue. That's, I'm that's supposed to be cue. doing something. And he's <laughs> just... He's going it. to show you that why I dry this. Okay. I got that. I got it. Is that sentence John there? All right. You want yeah. to turn turn off my dryer? Okay. Turn off your dryer. Your dryer's not even on. I'm supposed to turn it off. All right. Right here we have one from Carly. This is our Tuscan doorway, I believe it is. Beautiful job on that one. Absolutely stunning. Next one is from our winner. Oh, wait a minute. I got to fix it. Nope, it's all there. I had to make sure it was all in there. Uh, Patricia uh, did this one, and she made it a little bit more mission -y, Michigan style because she lives in Michigan. So the foliage she put in the background and, and the, the weeds and all, that's more Michigan style. Any more, boss, or should I wait? Well, um, We have the before and after of Shirley, if you want to talk about that. Uh, which one was that? She was the, uh, the grape and uh, the vase. Oh yeah, um, this one was of the, done by Shirley. This uh, is the before. We we have yeah, but when I mean when you talk about it, I mean I wish I could I wish I could have shown you the original. Well, you'll have to look, you'll have to find this was this was Tuscan vase and grapes, and it was a fabulous. It's a very large painting. It's what we call a box of cookies lesson, probably one of the most difficult lessons that we do, and it took quite a bit. And I think Shirley sent this uh, painting in several times for personal art coaching, at least three or four times. And she just, she got really good with the vase and the background and all that stuff and got stuck on the grapes. So you and, look at, this is before, so kind of keep your eyes on those pink grapes and watch what happens to them. And then look what happens Boink. when she, fi she finally had like what we call a breakthrough. She had yep. an aha moment and, and there's the And that just kicked it in. That just brought it back to life. Isn't that something? And the, I mean, again, this was a fairly large painting and it was 18 by 24 or something like that. Yep, 18 by 24. And so, again, we teach beginner stuff, very beginner paintings like the like the bird hop that you saw. Those are very beginner paintings. But we take you up. We can take an artist who's never painted before. Within a few years, if you keep hanging in there with us and take advantage of personal art coaching, I think you'd be shocked at what you can learn to paint. So, anyway, there's that. And let's, let's go on with... Um, our, uh, our our painting fabulous, now our, our shutters our shutters and I'm gonna get out this um, extra heavy gloss gel 
and uh, let's get a, some sort of little tool to get that out with, right? A little tool, may, commonly referred to as a palette knife. Well, a spoon would be better. Yeah, palette knife. There you go. So I've got some of that there, right? This is called uh, heavy gel gloss. By uh, modeling paste would work too. Gloss is going to make the flowers a little shinier, which will be pretty. Well, it's um, going to be shellacked anyways when I'm done with it. Yeah, but still, it's going to be, um, it, it'll be interesting. So I want, then I want some different magentas. So I'm going to take a small brush like this, and we're going to start planting flowers. I'm going to start with our smallest um, color. So I just put a little of this gel in here first, because my darker colors um, can be, um, uh, we're just going to drop those on here like that. We're just going to kind of drop the flowers on here over up into this area here, down into there like that. And we're going to say that we've got uh, nice just tap, tapping in these flowers and um, there you go and they're just sort of poking in through our uh, up, up above our roof here all right and then I might take a little bit of blue and uh, white because that's that's kind of a nice that's kind of blue and white and I might add a little bit of the blue color to this over well, here's here a question like that. for you if you wanted to have more of a stucco wall could you just add sand to your paint that is classified by golden as a big no-no no because -no. No. you don't know no. what's actually in that sand no and you really want to just buy stucco and then let it dry overnight if you're going to do a stucco yeah, do it, wall do it the you right have way. to if i was going to do this on a stucco wall then i would do the stucco wall first and then i would go ahead and use modeling paste for the shutters yeah and then i would use i did another layer on top of that so you, you can make a whole a whole but, and bunch that, of that takes a long time to do right so like for instance we can then just drop in a little bit more color here yeah but you got to be careful adding foreign material to your paints because yeah. they're not purified for this purpose okay now there's that now generally speaking on this what i like to do here's a little dosing purple a little look at Wow. Here's, a, here's some dosing purple and take a little bit of the gel and add to that and even modeling paste would have been good i don't know what that's i don't think i have any over here don't know, modeling paste dries a little quicker and it still gives you the texture which i like because you've got to we're just going to play a little russian roulette here with them with this and we're going to kind of we want to come up here with our darkest colors first like that. I'm just going to roll them off the brush. You just kind of drop it like if you're dropping cookies on a cookie sheet, you know, in a cookie dough, you just sort of drop it and lift up. You just make that little flower shape. Roll it off your brush. And try not to eat the cookie dough. Um, so I'm going to start with the darkest colors first. I always start with those. I'm just going to come up here and say, here's our. Uh, shadow color on our flowers yeah and um and then i want to have our uh let's just take a minute here so we can uh just put these in here and i want some coming down over the top here like that I'll just start adding these colors. And just p p to drop your brush and pick up, kind of get an idea of where you think you might want these to go. And there's a pattern. These are not Brussels sprouts on a stem. <laughs> there's a pattern to these. And if you if you look for the pattern, try to draw the pattern. Uh, try to see the pattern in the um in the reference photo they were um i'm doing more of an azalea type flower in the reference photo these were more of uh, wisteria um again um this is we i like the shutters about this i loved all the shutters and um i wanted i wanted this uh this feeling of these these flowers coming down and I like these colors, and I think when you see, you'll see it when it's done. I think you'll be 
surprised at how this works. Pleased. Yeah. Again, I've got patterns, and they, if you study bougainvillea and the rest of it, it they grow in clumps, and um, they're actually, they're, they come in different colors, like pink and purple and white and stuff. They're really, they're, they don't say they're flowers. They actually, people say that they're leaves as opposed to flowers, that they're actually, that that's their leaf. And let's come on over here. Let's break this big line up here that we've got. Remember, we put this big dark line up here. And which purple are you using for these? This is Dosnian purple. So just using a, the darkest purple or my darkest purple. Might add a little blue to it now. Does not have to be the same. It's just going to come down here like that. Vary the size of the of the um, of your of your brush strokes. Vary the size. That's important. Leave. Make sure you're leaving enough area for your um, your branches to show. And it uses it up the paint pretty quick. You see that? It, that that that's pretty quick here. I want think I want to come down over the top of this too. And uh, so that I've got these flowers coming this way. There we go. Let's see, let's come something like that. So I've got those and I think I'm going to bring them across. If I bring them across the top, that sort of stuff, all these lines are running up and these flowers are bringing your eye back down. There's a reason that we're, we're doing it that way. So at some point you can, um, you want to you want to stagger how far out something comes so they're not all in a row. W write down the word random. You're going for more random uh, shapes, okay? And um, and and take a moment to think about that too. All right. Now, if we do some white now. I do some white and I take a little bit of the blue, that's ultramarine blue and white and purple. Now that's a different color. Okay, so I can add a little bit of this color and I can go on top of this one if I'm cognizant of where the light is. I'm gonna just put some white on my brush now because my brush is pretty dirty. And um, I'm gonna just I know that these are my underneath colors. I think I'll wipe the brush off completely and just get some white here. And um, see, see the difference? Yeah, I'm going to the light. The, generally speaking, the way I always paint, paint these flowers is that I always have the lighter color on top with the darker shadow color underneath, okay? And uh, the same thing up here. Let's see, well, that's a little too bright. You may need, if you can't get the small enough brush strokes, change brush sizes, make, get, a, get a smaller one. If you're, I'm just using the corner of this brush to get these little tiny dots, but if you're having trouble with that then get a smaller brush don't get these big vary the brush size you know write some of the stuff down vary your brush size that's real key here and um, there's my white here too white of course remember you're going into purple so you can just go over it again if you get it too bright I don't anything that bright up there Again, you can see where we're bringing these flowers down. I'm going to come down a little bit lower here than I've got. I think I want a little bit of the magenta now with my purple. Get some purple magenta color in here. Now I'm going to, that's another kind of dark color. See that? So now we're just going into the magentas which is sort of an in-between color, but this is all still kind of wet. So if I keep that into my darks, 
you know, straight into the magenta. And if you have time, if you can really build this up and layer it, I'm not going to take the time to get a lot of layers in this today because we just, we can't, it, I, I, Happy is drying it in between. And we just, you know, gels don't dry quickly. So, uh, you know, we're sort of limited a little bit on what we can do. I don't want to take too much time here. Never tiny little brush strokes. Here's a here's some lighter lighter magenta now. Lighter colors going on top. Now at some point I will have to dry this. Um kind of neat effect though, doesn't it? And uh, can I answer some questions, John, while we're talking here? Is there any questions? Sure, here's one. How many points of perspective are there in this drawing? One. One. There's one point perspective on this one. Yeah, this needs to come down a little further this way, or that needs to come up. This needs to do this right here. See that? I'd bring Need the one just, corner down. It's probably easier just to bring. I'd bring the, the right side down, the right corner this, down. This needs to come down just like that. Yeah. There we go. Okay. That was easy. So now you can see we've got some really nice colors here. Yes and yes. Now what I want to do here is I, I may not be able to dry it completely, but I can skin it over. And what, that's what I want to do now. John's going to show you a few more, um, oh, oh. a few more pictures. Oh, I skin, skin it over, and I'm going to do something right here too. I want to straighten this up. I don't know what happened here, but we'll straighten it up. Okay. So I'm going to dry this now. All right. You got you muted. All right. While she's drying that, let's take a look at this uh, fine piece of art painting from Ann. Ann sent this in for a little personal art coaching to get things balanced out and did an absolutely stunning job on it. Uh, I don't know what size she ended up doing this, but I think the original was a 20 by 20. But did a beautiful job on that. Ann, congratulations. Beautiful job on that. Uh, question comes up is what is masonite? Masonite is an actual wood product versus most canvas boards are just put together with cardboard, so they don't hold up as well as masonite. Even some of the old older guys use old wooden boards to paint on. So that is what masonite is. It's a it's a compressed board. What are the other activities Ginger does when she's not painting as far as hobbies? Reading. Listening to stories. Okay. Anything you like to do besides read? Oh, what, we like to go hobbies? swimming. We like to go swimming. Uh, <laughs> That's not a hobby. No, it's something to do. Uh, yeah, reading and playing um, games on the computer. There you go. Um, I want to just back out for a minute. I want to show some. If you like this style of painting, right? Any I ice cream? Show the. Um, um, the, the, oh, the video lessons, lessons that we um, uh, offer in our academy. And uh, we have senior discounts, military discounts, police discounts, really good deal. Um, and anyway, I don't think that there's anywhere you can get the, the array of lessons. And are you way back out on this? This is 16 by 20, and it's our swans. And even this style here, can you see, can you see how a painting like this could, could go with something like that? And, um, and this is our garden uh, style of painting. We've got the swans, the the bougainvillea, the uh, hydrangeas, and so forth. And um, quite the garden. This is. I think this is. A, I, I love it. We don't do a lot of sixteen by twenties, but we felt this one needed to be large to really get the architecture and get the feeling of the birds and everything. So this is a lesson that will be released this weekend, um, probably Sunday. 
We won't do it. Uh, we have the marathon coming up on Friday, so it'll probably be a Sunday release. This last Sunday, we did um, um, we did our um, let's see where did I put it? I had it right here. Where did I put it? Oh, it fell down, John. I can't get it. We did our pottery. Well, I can't. If it fell down, so I can't get it. We did our pottery one, Southwest Pottery. Have so many beautiful, beautiful different paintings that we have. And I think that you'll be very surprised at how fun and fun they are to do. And remember, you get help. You don't, you're don't. not just stuck. You get help. And we recommend that before you try a box of cookie lessons, try some of our simpler lessons. Get the, get the, get the techniques down. All right. So here's our flowers, which is we're doing pretty good with. Yes and yes. Um, I thought I had a zinc white somewhere. I never, I never know where all this is. Where I, could I put that, the zinc white? What do you it's imagine? It's not over by the iPad? It used to be over by the iPad underneath it. Um, no, it's not underneath it. It's not over there by the iPad. It's not anywhere. That's all right. Don't get up and get it. I'll just do without it. We're going to get the painting anyway. I've, I've got to get, I want some white now. Because I'm going to do, we're going to introduce some new colors. So I'm going to put some white up here. Okay. You can maybe get the one that fell down too. Yeah, that's what it's getting up for anyway. John's getting up to get that. And um I tell you that stuffy staff must be messing with the paint sitting right. Just get a new one, would you? Oh sure. Thank you. They just roll on tree, you know? Yeah, get a new one. That's what I said. So I want I want some light right here. Because these colors are going to be brighter than I've got, right? So I want I want some light. And uh, you found the one that fell down. Yeah. You've got that, okay? And uh, thank you. Oh, there's some zinc white. Perfect. See, there you go. Zinc white is transparent white. You can't make it by diluting titanium, and it's one of those colors you're just really going to want to have. Um, it's, a it's kind of a must-have, right? Now, this will just take a second to dry this white, but I need it up there. Um, let's see. I want, to, I want to make sure we have it up, up here. So uh, I'm going to just do this, something like that. All right. So I'm going to dry that little bit of white. And when I, well, I, um, it's going to take like two seconds, but, right? Just hang yeah, in go there. For it. You just, deal, just everybody go deal. For it. All right, we get that dry. Remember, we're going to have our paint-a-thon starting Friday at 3.30 p.m. Central Time. They usually end around midnight-ish. Sometimes they go a little over. Try to get a dozen paintings done, and those paintings will be put up on the auction. We'll have some spots reserved for them, and the final images will be put up after the auction's over and things have dried, and I can get them up there. Okay, so we've got uh, some yellow oxide here and a little orange. We're going to mix those two colors together, maybe a little yellow too. All right, so I want to come up here and add a few of these color leaves to our picture. Put a little purple in that and just tone that down for when we get up here. Add just a bit of purple. We've got a few little of these color leaves. Um, want something a little brighter up here, and then over in here like that. Uh, something up there like that, up there. There you go. Now we're going to come in this way for this, and I want a few little of these orange leaves. And they're kind of a gold leaf. Okay. And then I want a few of if I want a um, if I want a um, a kind of a, a of a moss green color I can add yellow and a little bit of Payne's gray and and a little ultramarine blue and you can get a pretty nice um, a moss green color too. We're going to add a little bit of that. Break up some of this. And, uh, and put a little bit of that color up in our uh, up in our plants here, a little bit up here in our. OK, 
Okay, just go up there in our sky. There's a little bit of that moss green color. Okay, not too much. See a couple little leaves hanging down. And uh, now here's the trick. We want to clean the brush, and I want white and yellow. I want something very bright, a very pale, light yellow, and I'm going to put that over the um, white that we just did in a couple places. And uh, then I want a little bit of this yellow and orange color. And I'm going to brighten this up with in a couple places up here. See, right, right, kind of in this area. Not everywhere. Not sticking it up there anywhere unless I darken it up a little. Might have a little bit of up here. But mostly, I want this up here. And uh, okay. Now, what we need next. Did I lose that whole plate? Did it just go flying off when I was drawing something? With the plate with all the stuff on it? With the gel and everything? I don't know if I'm not seeing No, I it. didn't. It's, I, I put it away. Responsible me. Put it away! Oh, that's just silly talk. Uh, I know. All right, so we've got something called Luminous Rose, right? Of course we do. And that is our, our uh, kind of our our surprise color we're going to mix it with the gel here and all right you ready that's okay. our punch it up color yeah we're going to punch up our flowers we're dropping this on there like that How nifty cool is that, right? That's, just, that's a good word, right? Nifty cool? Nifty cool. Nifty cool. Our focal point's down in this area right here, so I don't have it all over. I'll, if I want to put it elsewhere, I'll add a little purple to that. And I can have it up here, but just not so bright. Sort of, a, I just won't have it quite so bright up here. I'm still going to have some of this color, but my brightest ones will be... Where you want the focus. Yeah, where I want my focus. And uh, again, I want to just... You've got so many choices when you're mixing colors. So a little blue with that changes it, darkens it up just a little bit. But it still gives it that mauve pink color. And then if we take some white here in the that color, just some white, and we rinse the brush, and we'll start putting our light colors on. Now, I don't want a white flower. I want a pink flower. Maybe a little up here, just a touch. Lily has a question for you. What's the problem with having all the colors being bright? Well, because, well, imagine you're writing a book, and you and your book is about a boy and a dog. But if um, you don't have a focus, you, if you just wrote the words down, boy, dog, house, cat, nobody would know what the story was about. So you're telling the story 
by where you place the colors and where you want. Like an orchestra director, if all the all the instruments were playing at one time, you you couldn't figure out. So orchestra director says, okay, the the violins are going to start now, and then over there the cymbals can play a couple times. So what you're doing, basically, okay, is your um, you know, as an as a as an artist, your your what your goal is. Let's see, where's my other paint color thing here? Your goal is to um, uh, your goal is to uh, direct the eye. We want we want to say this is our focal point in this painting. This is what with these these particular flowers. <clears throat> so I may, for instance, if I got too many, I may come back and carve a hole in here and put some uh, some of my wall back. See what I just did? So if you get like for instance, if you got a little zealous with your with your flowers, maybe you need to come in here and cut a hole back in there, just break them up a little bit. See what I mean? Or if you want something to show up a little more, let's see, that was the zinc. Where did I put the, okay, here's the titanium. If you want something to show up a little more, you can add a little more contrast next to it. Um, like for instance, now we haven't really done a lot of white on this painting, but I, if I put a little white right here and you know, right, just maybe I'm going to have a little bit of white right in this area, like that. And see, that's going to kind of, that's going to catch your eye here. And I might take a little bit of this. I think all that paint dried up. But I might take a little bit of this light white here. Just, um, th th this feels a little, uh, this feels too, too taped. So I'm going to just kind of, just bring, lighten these ones up a little bit, maybe kind of not talk so much about that line here maybe put a little bit of light right here okay see by by adding lights and darks i know this is is where you start directing the person's eye and where you want them to see where you want them to to focus and um and that's exactly what we're talking about here for instance here's this sort of um this is such a perfectly straight, straight, straight line. I'm going to just thin it down a little bit. I just don't want it that perfect. There you go. Just kind of thin that out a little bit. And um, remember, I was asking John a little bit ago for some um, uh, some zinc white, and I and I like these um, this these shadows down here, but. Zinc white's transparent white, so if I were to take a clean brush and nothing else on it, and kind of, if I were to go over this, these shadows here at the bottom, just to sort of soften those. See, they're there. I can kind of put them out of focus a little bit. Did you see how that's doing that, the zinc white? It's just like, this is pretty dark shadow. Now, that's too much paint. So if I take a wipe off most of that here, I, I can still just soften that shadow just a bit, right? Just so it's a little bit. This is like putting it behind a piece of wax paper, like a little veil, okay? Because I, I want to see that. Or maybe I want something a little bit lighter over here. I can use some of this white because it's not so bright. Still, I still want to do a little. I'm looking at my reference photo thinking there's a little light on here. So when you don't want to use white, you can use um, you can use zinc white as a kind of an accent color, which can be very effective. See, and um, I'll just you know maybe lighten something up right in this area here. Uh, let's see, where's my color here? Like right next to these flowers, maybe I want to lighten it up a bit. You know, I can do I can do that. Or even here, I want to darken something. Um, uh, let's see, I'm going to darken what? Well, I'm, I'm, we're we're pretty good right here, but um, let's do this instead. Let's just say there's a ledge here. Here's a question for you. My jar of gel is drying out. Can I mix in a bit of glazing liquid to it? No idea. Right, the company. Yeah, you have to write the company. We, I don't know what it's made of. We did not give advice like that. We don't know. 
Never Ours never problem. dries out. I buy gold and my jars never dry out. Yeah, that's some, we have some old ones. I always put dates on them and I've never, I've had Liquitex dry out. I've not had uh, golden. Yeah. Some are golden, they're pretty old and they're still, and it's still like they're factory fresh. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. And um, again, again, so much depends on, um, uh, you, you know, some people will put um, on their, they'll put like some saran wrap or something, not saran wrap, and then they'll screw the lid on. So they get more airtight. Yeah. The yellow right there. Okay. And that's what's so funny is, is if I come up here just in a couple places with this, you don't really notice it, but it's there. Then I'll get a little bit brighter, brighter orange here. Just and what's neat to me about a painting like this is that it's um. Didn't suppose we have a nine by twelve frame, did we, John? What's that? Do we have a nine by twelve frame. Uh, sure we do. That's something you could find really hurry for fin when I'm finishing off the final touches on this. Sure. Okay. And remember, this is on a canvas board on a masonite, so it is actual canvas wrapped around the masonite and sealed with several layers of whatever they do. This is uh, called Protone Boards, and they're from Jerry's Artorama. Yeah, Jerry's Artorama. And you've got... Um, Again, could you spend a little? Could you do more with this? Sure, you could probably. Could probably I more. could. I could spend another hour on this if I wanted. You know, I mean, just kind of easily get these colors going on here. Um, you betcha. But it's you know what's fun about this, and I'm going to cover up some of these lines a little bit, kind of age this a little bit. This board, all these boards, but it's just not so perfect. The lines. You can do all kinds of stuff with lines if you want to. You don't have them so perfect. But I would say that we're very close to being uh, finished with this one. I probably want a little bit darker. I always like to darken stuff up at the top a little bit. Um, oh, perfect. So... Ooh, there's a little paint on that. Yeah, there? I'm not going to talk to anybody about that. Why would there be paint on this? Mm, I have no idea. Uh, but we can fix that with the tub of towels. I'll show everybody. We'll show it. Don't despair if you get paint where you don't want it. Because there's. All right, let's let's make sure I've got my um my branches back. If I lost them somewhere. Okay. All right. Yes and yes. And don't overdo it. You can you can just you can get too much. Just do a few things and stop. That's one of the tricks with something like this. And um, ooh, look at all the water that was on that brush. Ooh. Um, it sat in the water oh, and just something. sucked it up like mm. a sponge. But if you look on the, on the hinges, there's like a little up and down thingy. That would be the actual hinge part. Yeah, that's what there was, a little up and down thingy Called here. Called the pin, the pin of the hinge. Yeah, that, that thing. All right, so we got, I just wanted to put that on there. And um, maybe they don't have to be. Their pins were... Uh, had been painted over because they were sloppy, but we could paint over some of our hinge too if we wanted Don't have to have them so perfect Okay, there we go. I think we'll just leave them like that uh, All right, so there we go and um, I'm gonna just where else would I want something maybe something right right here I always go back and I, I, I'm looking at this whole thing thinking what could I take away and not ruin the effect? Let's break this little bit, bit of flowers up. See what I do there? Just break it up. Put a hole in it. You, you've got the power. You're empowered to do that. Even though I'm just about out, out of all paints and stuff, you can, you can do that. You can break it up if you need to. So don't, don't panic and say, well, I just got this big blob and I don't know how to fix it. I just showed you. 
if you've got a big blob and you feel like you don't, you, you need it to have it, uh, you know, like, like, for instance, right in here, maybe you need a little hole in there that's part of the, um, the background. You've got this little brush, put it back. It's kind of neat when you can do that, right? If you got too many, put it back. All right, so I feel like we've done a bang up job on this. Um, I hope you do really too. captured it. And I want to show you this is a I will, this is a uh, nine by twelve frame. This is what a painting like this looks like in a frame. Um, the gel you can use again. You can tint the gel if you're going to do a lot of colors of pink flowers. You think so? You can put you can put the gel on little containers and color it. You can save it. Um, just in case somebody asked that and wanted to know that, right? And you can notice that we had a little bit of a paint on this um, frame. If you're not familiar with tub of towels, they don't pay me to tell you this, but this, this is the best get the paint off, not hurt the environment towel ever. And um, I, could, I could just look at that. It'll just take that right off. And this was that that's that's weeks old, isn't it? Oh yes, ages old. You know, so um, I mean that's on there pretty thick, but that see that's coming right off. And um, that would look like to me like it was a gel. Gel medium is even a little trickier. It's all polymer. It all breaks down. Oh, right. Speaking of that, we had a comment come in in regards to when Ginger was demonstrating using the pastel chalks on the back for tracing. Uh huh. She just blew it off, and you know, theoretically, she should not be doing that. She'd be ta tapping it off into the trash can because of the dust and all. And she has paints on her hands. Yes, we understand that. She does not have a reaction with them, but a lot of people do. So you do want to be conscious of these health and safety features. Yeah, I've been doing this for 50 years, you guys, 60 maybe. You know, now. it's the old dog, new trick. Ain't you know, happen. I've been doing this for a long time. And one th some people are allergic to cad bread medium. Yeah. And you don't want that on your hands. But for the most part, I've never had any problems with it. Um, you don't eat it. You don't drink it. They, one of the reasons they allow acrylics in public schools and in, in colleges is because it's such a safe medium. Now, here's our reference. And you see... There's just some blue and some purple flowers, and it's nice. And there was all this stuff on the bottom, but by adding, um, but by simplifying it, you see, we took away the stuff on the bottom. We we focus a little bit on some of these these shadows that were coming down here in our picture, and um, we've got, I think, a very nice simplified painting that. Um, that and you would and it's quite colorful. Yes and yes. Yeah. So, um, uh, and you can see how something like a painting like this fits very nicely into a nine by twelve. I think we got these at Jerry's or something. A yeah. nine by a twelve frame, and um, then that's what you you know think about that when you're uh, when you want to paint something. I want to just do one little thing here. Of course you are. Um, and let's do it in the frame. That way you can get paint on the frame again. Okay, fine, fine, <laughs> fine, 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 fine. <laughs> I want this a little straighter, even though it wasn't in the picture. I want to straighten that out right there. I didn't like that. So that's a wonderful thing about tape is that you can, you have that, you have the ability to change something. And remember, uh, to enter the contest, the secret word is shutter. So it'll be hashtag shutter. Put that in the comment. And we do have a question. Oh, wait, i got to put my question up. Don't say the question until I put it up. Well, what was the question? Oh, yeah. Oh, there's see, a, you don't know. Well, I've forgotten even what you were talking about now because I'm focused so focused <laughs> on fixing this one one thing, and the paint's dried up. It that's why we like our stay, stay wet palette. Yep, that's why we like it. There we go. Well, it's a little bit darker down there. Here we go. Like that better. Just that was bothering me a little bit, and so I was going to take a pen and sign this. I think I'm going to sign it right here. Remember, when you're signing your paintings, are you going to shine it with a sharpie or? No, it doesn't matter. Sharpie works. A I'm just asking. Yes, since you asked, I'm going to sign it right here with a sharpie. Okay. 
the reason you people he asked is that once you put it on a sharpie you can't undo it it's, nope, it's written there. in stone where the posca pens if you don't like your signature you can um take it off a few times take it off a few times that's absolutely right so um a so sharpie question of the day Next bird hop is going to be on Saturday, September 11th, with a 15-minute break between lessons. What do you guys think of that option? Yeah. Put that in your comments below with the hashtag shutter to be entered into next week's drawing. Yeah, don't you think? Yeah, we're going to, we, we, we listened to you. Some people felt like in the last bird hop, they had some no people, pee breaks. That they, there were, they, then some of you guys were trying to paint along. And uh, I know I painted it, but I'm just, I, it's acrylic dry darker. So now I'm just going back and, you know, adding a few things because they, you know, the, my contrast isn't showing up. Um, you know, uh, we noticed that um, some people said that they felt that they were getting to be frantic along about the fifth hop. They were sort of <laughs> hopped out. So we thought we, the paintings would still be 45 minute paintings. And there would be birds of some kind, but we so will, we'd run them on the hour. We'll run them on the hour. So there's our painting for the day. You know the uh, Tuscan shutters, and hope you guys enjoyed uh, the, this. And um, you know, curious to know how you, if you think we could re that would schedule our bird hop better if we do it like that, because that's what our thinking is. And we last time we did it on a Friday, Cinnamon thought it would be better because a lot of her people took time off from work. Maybe some of you guys did too to be part of that and we don't want you to have to miss work so it's going to be on saturday uh september 11th and remember we'll we, we will be doing downloadable lessons if you go ahead and and um put the secret word in you can uh we'll be doing a drawing next monday for um for that for, for the for the questions the comments that are being uh, answered this week plus the birds Got a lot of stuff going on. Don't forget, we're going to be back on Friday, starting at 3.30 for the Paintathon. Yeah, Paintathon. So we'll see you guys Friday, 3.30. Woohoo! <laughs> I like that attitude, Queenie. Bye, you guys. Bye, everyone. I'm a student, I say with glee, of Ginger Cook's Academy. Take your time and do not rush. Use ruby satin silver brush. Don't use black and mix the green. Learn what blend and grayscale mean. Yes, I hope each day to earn coaching praises as i learn i'll be an artist wait and see ginger means the world to me